CarPlay has received its first major redesign. Let's check out everything new with CarPlay in iOS 13. Welcome my friends, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider and this is the new CarPlay interface in iOS 13. Jumping right in, we have a brand new calendar app. It's very simple, laid out, and shows you your meetings for the day. If you have something with a location in it, you can easily tap that location and get directions right from your CarPlay unit. There's also a new settings app where you have three different options to choose from at the moment. Activating do not disturb while driving from CarPlay. You can also change the appearance to automatic, which will be a new light interface during the day and a dark interface at night, or just always go with that dark interface. You can also toggle off the new series suggestions on the dashboard. We'll see that in just a moment. Apple also took the time to redesign the new music app. Apple also now supports album art over Bluetooth, so if you have anything that supports that, CarPlay now does. And you can see the redesign here in music, it has been really overhauled. It looks so much nicer with a big emphasis on that album art. Everything is very smooth and nicely laid out, and really easy to find the music that you'd like to play back, or of course, you can just use Siri. The tabs at the top are library, for you, browse, radio, and the animated now playing icon in that top right hand corner. This looks a lot better than it ever did. Touching on a few behind the scenes changes, Apple now supports both irregular screen sizes and adjustable screen sizes, and even second video stream support. So if anyone has a HUD or a cluster that they wanna send video to, manufacturers can now integrate that. One of my favorite features has to be the new dashboard view though. It splits everything up into multiple pieces of information on one screen. Of course, you have the map here on the left, series suggestions on the top, upcoming calendar appointments down there at the bottom, and you're now playing stream of music, podcast, whatever it may be. It is all very nicely laid out, and I love being able to see more information at once in one place without having to jump between apps, especially while driving. You can, of course, always toggle back and forth between the normal app view and the dashboard view, depending on what you're doing. You can see my serious suggestion here knows that I have a lunch meeting coming up, so I can tap on that, which will automatically give me the directions to the place that I'm heading jump into that navigation we have the new updated maps there's a lot more information thanks to apple's cars running around there's a junction view in maps which is going to be really important in dangerous intersections tapping on this little icon here i can send my eta to someone so these are the people i've been talking to most recently i can tap on any of them and send my eta to them so they can see how i'm doing and when i'm expected to be there I can mute or unmute Siri or use search to add something to my route. So if I want to stop at a gas station real quick, I can tap that, see any near gas stations and go right there. Once this route is complete, I can automatically jump back onto my original route heading to my meeting. Another change this time around is the invocation of Siri. Apple will now allow car manufacturers to invoke Siri with that simple catchphrase, hey, and then Siri. Saying those two words can activate Siri in cars that support it, so you don't even have to press a button. However, when you do invoke Siri, whether through your voice or with the built-in buttons, Siri takes up much less space on the screen. She is now minimized down towards the bottom and does not obfuscate the rest of your display. So it's really handy when you're navigating, you still want to see what's going on, and Siri would pop up and cover the whole display. No longer a problem with iOS 13. Another big problem is independent app views before you had to stay in the same app on carplay on your phone but even as i jump around here on my phone to music to audiobooks to calendar nothing is changing on carplay so you have true independent app views so if someone else is looking at your phone it's not going to take away your navigation up on your carplay head unit there really are a ton of new features here and we love it carplay is really getting overhauled with ios 13. Let us know what you think down below in the comments, which features are your favorite, and which ones you'd like to see. You can also shout at me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.